In this video, we're going to practice subtracting mixed numbers. Now, remember, a mixed number has a whole piece and a fractional piece. And so the way that they have it written, I don't like it so much if I was doing this on paper and pencil. So here's my suggestion to you to get started. We're going to line up the whole pieces with the whole pieces and the fractional pieces with the fractional pieces. We're going to put them underneath one another. So you'll see my fractions are lined up, my whole numbers are lined up, and the next thing we're going to check, do we have a common denominator? Both of our denominators are 13s. Check. Another thing is good. The next thing we check, is this number smaller than that number? In any sort of subtraction that we're doing by hand, if the number here is not smaller than that number, then we have to fix that. We have to either borrow or you know decide if if uh, you know some other thing has to do happen to fix it. Well, in this case, what we're subtracting here, this three, is uh, smaller than the five, so we can proceed with the problem. Now that that's all fixed and we've checked all that out, we're just going to subtract the whole number pieces. Four minus three is one. And we're going to subtract the um, fractional pieces. Now remember how you subtract fractions. We are going to keep the bottom. So we already know that the bottom will have a 13 in it. And we are going to subtract the tops. 5 minus 3 is 2. Now there's some things you should check. Does 2 and 13 have any numbers in common that we can reduce? It does not. This number is smaller than that number, so that is our final answer. 1 and 2 thirds is, or 13 I'm sorry, 1 and 2 thirds is our answer. So that is how you subtract mixed numbers if you don't have to borrow and if your denominators match. I hope that helped. If you liked our video, could you please uh, hit the like for me? And if you could subscribe to our uh, page for more content, that would be great. Thanks.